Welcome back. Since his break away from Bounty Killers Alliance in 2006, the name Vibes Cartel has been shrouded in controversy. Controversy that propelled an exponential rise from aspiring artists to now the most notorious figure in dancehall. But Vibes Cartel's journey to notoriety began years before leaving the alliance. In 2003, he became the first artist in dancehall to physically attack another on stage. That assault was a ninja man at Sting. Upon leaving the alliance three years later, Cartel was embroiled in a bitter feud with former crony Mavado. The two factions who had took on the name of their respective camps, Gaza for Cartel and Gully for Mavado, reportedly escalated the conflict with drive-by shootings and cocktail bombings, while teenage followers faced off on school campuses and the streets of Kingston. And when a peace truce was reached between Gaza and Gully in December 2009, yeah. Cartel and his former leader Bounty Killer dragged their long-standing one-on-one -on -one feud to the center, a war that led to the bottling of both artists at the recently staged Follow the Arrow. And still raging right now. If it now go my way, you know, me pull it up like the bleaching thing, you know, it has to stop. Oh. All the while dominating the space with chart topping releases. Oh. Over the period, Cartel was also entangled in several other headline grabbing variances, both in and outside the Gaza. <laughs> the teacher had fallouts with members of his Gaza camp, online sex tapes, and several runnings with law enforcers including a two-week detention by the Portmore police last July. Still, Vibes Cartel's latest controversy is neither legal nor bounty killer. It's skin bleaching. Vibes Cartel, right now, on stage, our very special guest, Vibes Joaquin, sir. What's Listen up? Listen up. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Ah. All right, Cartel, jump in and start to talk about Follow the Arrow. Um, were you surprised that the bottling that came after you? No, I was not. You know what I mean? I was actually expecting it. And if you watch the clippings closely of Vibes Cartel's very short stint on stage, you would actually see Vibes Cartel laughing when he was coming off the stage. You know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah, man, because I was like, I was expecting it. But you know what I mean? I still had to, to go on stage and to show that, show Vibes Cartel fans and the Gaza people that Cartel was actually in the building. So why were you expecting it? Well, because, you know, this is Jamaica, and if, if, if artist A and artist B are in a rivalry, artist A appears on stage and gets showered with a rain of bottles, you know what I mean? Well, one would expect that, that, that as a result of, of um, I would call it um, revenge by, by the fans of artist A, artist B is going to get bottled also. Okay. You know I mean? Definitely. All right. Hold a second. Let's take a clip of Killer talking about that. Here we go. There are some okay. kids in Ochi that call themselves Ochi Empire. I heard that they was planning from in the afternoon and drinking and saying what they gonna do if Bounty Killer calls cartel name. Don't know how true this is. Not accusing anybody, but it's being said. Mm -hmm. So how do you respond to that? He's alleging that it was planned. It was the Ochi Empire that, that, that started it. No, well, not to my knowledge. I have no prior knowledge of, of hearing anything about any planning of, of the battling of, of any artist on stage. You know what I mean? Neither before nor after the fact. Yes. 
So I would say, no, I don't know anything about that. But is there such a thing as Ochi um, Empire? Are there a group down there that obviously are your supporters? Yeah, man. Everywhere in every parish you have an empire. In, in, in West Smallland you have, you have West Empire. In, in St. Anne's you have Ochi Empire. Moby the same thing and it goes on and on. Really? Yeah, definitely. So you, you went out and set them up, Cartier? No, you know, people just took on the name because the first set of people to have the name actually were the Ochi Empire. Yeah. And Vibes Cartel bigging them up on stage shows across the island that lets <laughs> everybody in each respective parish is taking on their own names. You know okay. I mean? Yeah. So, how big is this war between you and Killer? Well, I'd like to let Jamaica people know that Vibes Cartel is not in any war with any artist. You know what I mean? Vibes Cartel is just doing music, making hit songs, you know what I mean? Making products mm -hmm. and overall just making money. Vibes Cartel has no time for any war, any feuding or uh, anything of that negative nature with any artist and it has been like that for the past two years since the end of the Mother of the Vibes Cartel rivalry. So you aren't answering killers? I'm not answering anybody. A lot of artists trying to get a hype of Vibes Cartel. You know what I mean? Because you know when you're at the top a lot of people are going to try to, 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 to seek to climb to the top and, and, and ride in an artist's career. That is not the case with Vibes Cartel. I won't give anyone the time of day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And this, and the, even though you say you're not in any rivalry with, with Killer, mm -hmm. um, are you in, in any way, is it in any way affecting the relationship with Mavado or the peace truce between you, you and Mavado? No, you know, because as I said before, Vibes Cartel is not in any war with anyone, mm -hmm. so it, it, it works both ways. If I'm not in any war with, with, with Bounty Killer, how can I be in a war with, with, with his son? Okay. You know what I mean? But are you, do you regard yourself as, as his son? An estranged one. <laughs> <laughs> but still his son. But one nonetheless, you know yeah. what I mean? Don't you mess with me, you can't tell me so. You find your body from world science, no? I search him and I beg no friend. What credit do you give him, though, Killer, for your career success? Well, just by introducing Vibes Cartel professionally to the business, because history cannot be rewritten. It's already there for all to see, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And everybody knows that that is where Vibes Cartel came from. But you know what I mean? When he was a child, he acted as a child. When he's a man, he put away childish thing. You know what I mean? Two bulls can't reel in a one pen, and I could go on and on and on with proverbs. Yes. To the effect that Vibes Cartel had to be on his own. So you saw in 2006 mm -hmm. that you would be a bull, and there's no way you and him can reign in the same pen. Yeah. And so you walked out. Yeah, I had to do that. Because back then, as, um, you saw yourself going to the top. Yeah, and if so I... passing killer, you were saying? Surpassing everyone in dancehall music right now because you know from time to time you have you have top contenders and you have defending champions. Mm. Right now Vice Cartel is the defending champion. Okay. And no one can deny that. But Killer does not accept that any DJ in the business, as he puts it, better than him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do we, how where are you on that? Well, as I said before, I'm not really here to discuss what Killer thinks or what any other artist thinks. Yes. I'm telling you what is in the mind of the people and what is out there statistically to prove that Vibes Cartel is the M-A-N. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You're the man, right? All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's talk about Sting. Um, why didn't you want to do Sting? Well, Sting, I didn't want to do Sting for a lot of reasons, but the main reason was monetary wise because you know over the years um, Vibes Cartel and a lot of artists have lent their expertise and their talents and time mm -hmm. to Sting without getting proper compensation monetarily okay. you know what I mean so I figured that Vibes Cartel being the MAN right now I deserve my share of the compensation you know what I mean and what my, is that? It was, it was a hefty sum but you know what I mean I think it was a sum that could have been paid by the promoters um, based on the fact that they got a lot of sponsorship big box sponsorship from a lot of people. But here. shouldn't it be based on your pulling power? How many people can actually pull to the venue? Vibes Cartel and Movada can pull every single dancehall fan to Sting. With no help from anyone With else? With no help from anyone else, and I can so guarantee that. If you, you're saying categorically right now, Cartel, mm -hmm. that if you and Movada are put on a show, mm -hmm. the entire dancehall fan base will come out to it? Definitely, and if you're a promoter that are keeping an event that night, I think you should cancel. Yeah. Trust me, if Vibes Cartel and Mavada and any dancehall event anywhere in Jamaica, could it, it could have even been the West End and you're keeping something on the North End, I think you should cancel. Cancel it? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um, some fans, Johnny Guzan mm -hmm. should forget about everybody else and just drop your, 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 your Mavada on something? No, no, that, 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 that is not the case. But what I'm saying is that a, a some fans dancehall night without Vibes Cartel and Mavada is irrelevant. That, that wouldn't. 
be a true reflection of what dancehall is and where dancehall is right now without a vibes cartel or the likes of Amavada on it. I, I, I understand that clearly. The part I'm, I'm not clear on is whether you both, both of you alone, could mm. do it. Because we have watched this thing over the years mm -hmm. and what we know is that there are some people who pull out the crowd mm -hmm. and others who deliver mm -hmm. to the audience. Well, and the crowd puller is not necessarily always that's the, the, the deliverer. The who deliver. That's true, yes. but we, are, we were talking about pulling the crowd, you know what I mean? Actually yes. getting the people to pay their hard earned cash yes. and come into a venue, Vibes Cartel and Movado, at this point in time in dancehall music 2011, as I'm speaking now, can do it. Yes, but, but what I'm saying though, I, I understand very clearly mm -hmm. that they're, they, the top people, the mm -hmm. Movado and Vibes Cartel, mm -hmm. are needed on the lineup mm -hmm. to make it work. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we are yet to prove that mm -hmm. when you put the, the people who make it work mm -hmm. alone on a show, mm -hmm. they can bring out the crowd to make it happen. Uh, when that, we when we that have is, not gotten the, the chance to prove that as yet. we have seen in the past, this thing mm -hmm. start long time ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This dance hall um, 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 mm -hmm. phenomenon mm -hmm. started years ago, mm -hmm. over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we have watched it very carefully over the years. Mm -hmm. we, have see, we know, I agree with you, mm -hmm. if, if, if the top man is not on a show, mm -hmm. it, is, it is in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. But we have also seen situations mm -hmm. where top man mm -hmm. go on show and mm -hmm. it's 2000 and 2000. 2005 and less less than the, 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 the money they are asking for coming out. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Example: um, a few artists were um, Margarita Ville kept a series of shows over the um, last month period. It was like four shows for four Saturdays in the month. Yes. Um, the first show they used like four artists: Bounty Killer, um, I think Idonia, Chino, and, and I think someone else. But and every week they have been using like three to four artists on the event. Yes, but. They, they only had to keep it in the club, in Margaritaville Club itself. Yes. Because the turnout was basically between 500 to 800 people. Mm -hmm. The night that Vibes Cartel was on it, they had to open the beach because the, the crowd capacity, pre-sold tickets alone was like 3,900 people. And that is just one example of Vibes Cartel's pulling power. If you're talking about performance now, well, Vibes Cartel is working on his performance in terms of performing with a band, which is not one of my strong points. But mm -hmm. pulling a crowd, no who's bad, Vibes Cartel is the man for the job. Okay. And it's a pity though that you didn't use the opportunity on mm -hmm. Sting Night to sure. prove it once and for all and to settle, to settle once and for all that mm -hmm. argument. But we did. into a bigger venue. We no, actually venue. did. Mavada and Vibes Cartel actually did it Sting 2008. Hey. With the clash of Vibes Cartel and Mavada, that was one of the biggest crowd pullers in the East yes, of Sting. Cartel, but more Even bigger than Bounty Killer. A whole of a middle order man were, were there. Mm -hmm. Some of the veterans were there. You cannot disregard those who. I know, but it would be safe to say that. Yes. Um, if I do say so myself, it would be safe to say that um, 90% of the people came out to see Vibes Cartel and Movado showdown. No doubt. We just talked about that. But it would, it's a pity you didn't take a venue on the mm -hmm. 26th of December 2010. Mm -hmm. That could uh, a, a, a 10,000 venue mm -hmm. and, and, and a settle the argument once and for all. No, but it would be the same for the same because Sting 2010 was, wasn't Mahmoud and Cartel alone anyways. It would still have the usual suspects. So one could not use that as, as, as a proving point. Yes. Nonetheless, one would have to keep Vibes Cartel and Movado alone in a venue like Jam World, in a venue like Catherine Hall, yes. and see the pulling power of both artists. That is what and I'd I, like to see. And I can guarantee that any promoter that does that will be laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, the promoters are listening. I will see how they respond to that. But, mm. but um, in terms of Sting, will you go back and, and perform for Sting? Will you yeah, man, it, um, it was nothing personal, you know, where Sting was concerned. It's, it's business as usual, you know what I mean? Because I got seven kids to feed. Okay. So it was business for Vibes Cartel. Seven? Okay. And counting. We'll be talking about that and more after this break. Bleaching will be the topic in the next segment, right here on stage. <laughs> 